Welcome to Teacher Mind. In this video, we are going to be finding the surface area of a prism. Our prism here has a trapezoid for a base. Notice that there's a trapezoid here at one end and then a trapezoid here at the other end. I know it's a trapezoid because it has one pair of parallel sides. Notice the markings of being parallel. Well, any prism has a surface area of pH plus 2B. In this formula, P stands for the perimeter of the base, and B stands for the area of the base. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out what is the perimeter of the base. The base is the shape that is repeated, in this case the trapezoid. This is, as I said, a trapezoidal prism because the bases are trapezoids. Well, the perimeter, if we add up the sides of the trapezoid, we have a 12. Then we have this here, which is the same as this, 10. And then this side, which is the same as this one, 18. And then this side of 10. So we have 12 plus 10 plus 18 plus 10 times the height. The height is the, the distance between the bases and our bases are the trapezoids. So this is our height, the distance between the two trapezoids, the, the two bases. So this is five plus two times the area of the base. Now I'm going to do my work down here and then put my value up here to save a little bit of space on uh, the work surface. But the area of the base, if it's a trapezoid, will be base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. Now notice that I'm using small b's and small h's here to represent the dimensions of a two-dimensional shape, whereas up here this capital H, capital B are things for the three-dimensional shape. Well, base one, we've got two of them, so it doesn't matter which is which. I'll call this one base one, the 12, which makes this one base two. So we have 12 plus 18. The height, which is the distance between the bases of the trapezoid, which is the eight right here. I know that's the distance between them. I see this right angle that helps me identify that and then divided by 2. So 12 plus 18 is 30. 30 times 8 is 240. 240 divided by 2 is 120. And that goes here. Now each one of these parts is going to be done separately and then added together. 12 plus 10 plus 18 plus 10 is 50, and 50 times 5 is 250, and then over here 2 times 120 is 240, and 250 plus 240 is 490. And our unit, we don't have one displayed, so we're going to use U for unit. And anytime you're dealing with area, whether it's a two-dimensional shape or three-dimensional shape, you need to square that. So our surface area of this trapezoidal prism is 490 square units. This concludes the lesson. I'd like to thank you for visiting TeacherMind. It's a great place to discover something valuable.